Hey, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 video. And yes, yes, y'all, as you can probably tell, my little window right here is a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try uh, keeping the little window you know as small as possible during these gameplay videos because I do realize that in the last video when you saw me throw our truth and Seth Rollins, you know, through a table, um, you know, oftentimes this window right here. Uh, we tend to block out some of those moments. So uh, hopefully going forward, having the window just a little bit smaller than it originally was will help uh, alleviate uh, those issues, you know what I'm saying, in regards to uh, future moments that we may have going forward. But anyway, hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Hope everyone's having a wonderful week so far, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, can't wait to get into this next video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. So it looks like uh, Kevin Nash has something to say after our little, you know, match with uh, AJ Styles. So let's hear what Big Sexy has to say. Uh, after watching what JV accomplished in that steel cage, thinking I may have misplaced my trust in AJ Styles. Yeah, Nash, and I got two words for you in regards to that. Uh, no shit. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> and you guys may have noticed that my character is lacking face paint. There's a reason for that. We'll get into it as the video progresses. Us WCW guys still got it. And JV too. Hey, hey, I appreciate that, Ray Ray. Ray Ray putting some, some love and some respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm glad I chose Ray Ray as my partner. You know what I mean? That's my peoples. That's my peoples right there. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Shout out to Ray Ray. I need to meet Ray Ray one of these days and get his autograph, man. Let's go. And let's see. Oh, snap. I didn't realize I got all these messages from the WCW legends. So, I know your idea of a WCW reunion didn't work out the way you planned it. Uh, but watching you put that final nail in AJ Styles and his so-called new outsiders really took me back. I bet it did. I bet it did. Booker T. Yo, dog, I want a piece of AJ and Finn after what they did to you. Plus, me and Nash have history. Facts. <clears throat> so let me know if you need a partner. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I considered you booked, but like I said, you also got history with NWO. You know what I'm saying? That ain't so great. So that's why I did not choose you. Uh, Nash and the New Outsiders got heat with me, so I'm ready to fight. If you need me, just holla at your boy, and I'll be there representing my, in my WCW throwbacks. This is why I chose Ray. Right. See, Goldberg. I appreciate what you try to do with honoring, <clears throat> excuse me, with honoring WCW and its legends. Sorry, one of them turned out to be a traitor. I like payback against AJ, too. Let me know if you want them to be next. I like what he did right there, man. Implementing his, his promo style and that text. I like that. But yeah, sorry, Goldberg. I didn't choose you. I don't know. Uh, X-Pac. I still can't believe what Kevin Nash did after AJ attacked us in the first place. Thought he was my friend, but guess not. Let me know if you want some backup. Yo. Yo, I got another, you know, DX slash NWO alum. I mean, ready to have my back, but yeah, I'm glad I went with Ray Ray, though. No no, no offense, X-Pac, but you got history with both NWO and DX, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, anyway, let's go. while we're here, we're going to go ahead and see if there's any more stories that we can trigger up. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Hey, got a note saying that Mr. McMahon himself wants to meet you before Raw. Really? What does he want with me? I don't know, but when the founder and CEO of WWE wants to sit down with you, you should probably do it. It's your call, though. Yeah, I'll do it. You're right. I'll do it. Smart decision. And by the way, he said he wants to see you first thing in the morning when he arrives at the building. Be there when his car pulls in. Don't be late. So meeting with the chairman. Let's go. And we got clipping issues with the 24-7 title. Hello, nice. Mr. McMahon. I'm here for the meeting you requested. <laughs> Maybe wake up early to come down here, and then you're nowhere to be found. Nice. Hello? 
Hello? Mr. McMahon? <clears throat> Anyone? <laughs> hey there, pal. Just getting a last second workout in over here. Come on over and join me. Let's see what you're made of. <clears throat> oh, it was Tazawa doing his lame Mr. McMahon impression. Bro, you ain't taking this belt from me. Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Get your ass over there. I'll put you through a table. <clears throat> oh, damn it. Get off me. Woo. That's right. Come up here. Eat the feet. Now get your ass up. Let me see. I can switch positions, right? That's where I want them. Okay. No! Alright, now get up. See, he's stunned, so he should be willing to go for it now. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we didn't break the table, though. Screw it. Just count it, Jabron. One eternity later. They made these referees fucking stupid in this game. So meeting with the chairman, that was just a quick one. We got, we definitely got time for another one. Let's go back to social media. Oh, Mr. McMahon. I've heard reports that a WWE superstar impersonating me in an attempt to deceive an opponent. These actions will not be tolerated. Considering this a warning, or consider this a warning. Uh, Akira Tozawa. And he tried to shush me, but, um, bruh, yeah. Let this be a lesson to anyone else on the roster. You try to impersonate this man, yeah. I will let him know. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Because, you know, hey, that, 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 that's my boss, and my boss is taking care of me, so I got to take care of my boss. You know what I'm saying? Call me a company guy. I don't give a damn. <clears throat> FYI, had no idea Akira Tozawa was behind the Mr. McMahon meeting. It's okay. It didn't work. No need to cover for him anymore. If you think I risk losing my job so Tozawa could pull some stupid stunt like that, then you're just as dumb as he is. Damn, you don't gotta be like that, girl. I mean, damn. So you have a unique opportunity for you to defend your United States Championship. Let me know what you think. I think I'm going to need more details. Can't spill the tea until you accept. Fine, I'll do it. Now, I really want to know. I'll do it, whatever it is. Great, You'll, you're going to defend your title in a six-man battle royal against all former U.S. champions. Uh, good luck. Well, that certainly is a unique opportunity. Can you at least tell me who they are? Don't want to ruin all the fun. Showing off. Oh, the showing off is definitely one of the stories we need to hit. So, let's go. I mean, to be fair, on the plus side, she did say it was a battle royal. So, I would imagine it's an over-the-top elimination, or maybe a pin submission elimination. Either way, it's elimination, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So I want to see me coming out with the belt. And plus, y'all got to see my updated look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got the NWO-style merch on. Is a 
And watch this. Lone Wolf, baby, a tribute to Scott Hall while sticking it to AJ Styles and these new outsiders, quote unquote, if you will. Yeah, let's go. All storyline, it's all storyline. Let's go. But no, I, I did want to pay homage to Scott Hall, you know what I'm saying? He's one of my favorites. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly confident, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make it. It is over the top. I mean, Bobby, you could, like, you know, give me a hand, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it would be kind of nice, I'm just saying. Nope. Sorry, Bobby. You gotta go next now. Because you hit me. And that was not cool. Ooh, Tommaso got eliminated by MVP. Okay. Okay. No. I was gonna try to hit MVP. No. No. Ow. Great. Great. Just what I don't need. You being a scumbag. And I was not trying to throw you to the ropes. Oh, like that. Yo, I'll take that elimination, though. I'll take that elimination. Let's go. Oh, hell. champion himself this is only speculation but maybe he was upset he was left out of the match tonight that could be but nonetheless the champion now appears to have a significant problem on his hands hey Zigglesworth if you do if you want to shot at the title I mean all you had to do was ask bruh that's all right Dolph is about to learn a very painful lesson as to what happens when you mess with ya boy. Left out of a, what? Left out of former US Champions Battle Royal, so made sure to show up anyway, overlooking my amazing career accomplishments. Uh huh. Uh, seems to be a theme around here. <clears throat> now, to be fair, yeah, I don't get why people overlook Dolph Ziggler, because I, honestly, I feel like Dolph is probably one of the best performers. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. I'm surprised they don't put him in. They haven't been putting him in, in like, bigger angles, you know what I mean? In bigger storylines. To be fair, I haven't been, been watching as of late, so I, I know the only thing he's involved with, and I don't know if it's still going on, but he was involved with Bobby Roode, and they got the Dirty Dogs uh, tag team thing going on. But, uh, anyway. Uh, not going to be ignored anymore. What is this, Fatal Attraction? I won't be ignored! Uh, don't worry, you have my full attention, Ziggler. Good, now give me a shot at your uh, U.S. Championship. I already have a match next week against Ricochet. Don't worry, though. We'll recognize some of your overlooked accomplishments before my match. Stay tuned. Blocked. Oh, he blocked me. What What a bitch! I'm just saying. Bruh. Ziggler's really like that on social media? Is he quick to block people? Bruh. You all saw what happened last week when Dolph Ziggler attacked me after the U.S. Champions Battle Royal. I guess he was a little upset he wasn't included and feeling overlooked in general. So, I promised Dolph that I'd come out here tonight <coughs> and recognize some of the amazing moments from his career. So, let's start at the beginning, where Dolph proved he was special from day one. Debuting in WWE as a preppy-looking golf caddy. <laughs> How could anyone ever overlook that? I remember Not that. to become too big of a star too fast, Dolph then decided to become a male cheerleader. Uh -huh. He truly was a show-off of both versatility and spirit. <laughs> After those two stints were so overwhelmingly successful, <clears throat> Dolph again didn't want to outshine his fellow superstars, so he decided to go back to developmental to come up with another amazing persona and give back to future superstars. After this hiatus, 
Dolph would return and continue to annoy, I mean entertain, the WWE universe for the past decade and a half, even trying his hand at stand-up comedy in front of as many as 20 to 30 people. Speaking of jokes, I think that's about enough of that. Hmm. Now I'm gonna tell you the truth. I was gonna say, Dolph thank God Ziggler. my U.S. title is not clipping through not my shoulder. He he but now it's clipping through my no shoulder. Identity. A caddy, a cheerleader, a stand-up comedian. <sighs> How can he be recognized if he can't even recognize himself? But here's the thing. I know who I am. Well, at least it makes you know That's carrying my United title more States convenient. Champion. I'll give it that. Will kick anyone's ass who gets in my way. So, Dolph, after I'm through with my match tonight, you won't be overlooked. You'll just be next. <clears throat> Strong words from the United States champion. He'll defend his title coming up next. 2K, I hope you have plenty more good patches left in the tank because we can really use them. I'm just saying. Uh, this cliche interference again. Where is he though? Or are you pay in the form of mind games? Either way, it's effective. You dick. Pretty sure I hit Y. This game likes to lie. I hit him right there on the court. Come on. All right, come on. That is some bullshit right there. Well, since you can hit me with a corner move, I guess you wouldn't mind me hitting you with one of my corner moves. There we go. Now we're about even. Winston already has a finisher too. Let's all right. Now I'm really heated. And we busted him open, which I am certainly am happy about. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. I don't think so. My man's pouring out a whole lot of blood. And we're gonna make sure he gives us some more. Uh-uh. No, 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 You haven't given enough yet. Get your punk ass up, Ricochet. And we got enough for a sig. We got enough for a sig. Let's go. I'm feeling a little edgy. If you know what I mean. I'm a little edgy. Still managed to win my match despite Ziggler trying to or trying his best to not be ignored. Just wanted to send a message that I know who I am. The next United States champion. Thought you blocked me. I did, then unblocked you. Blocked again. Yeah, just like a little biznatch that you are. I find it ironic you're wearing an American flag as a bandana on your head. You know what I'm saying? Because uh you know, you you kind of preventing me from expressing my right to free speech on your ass. I'm just saying.
It's official. JV will defend his U.S. championship against Ziggler on Raw. Mandate. Got your mandate right here. I'm just saying. Nah. We're getting the show on the road. And he gets over there. Found that el elbow drop on Ziggler appropriate since, you know, he did at one point try to be a Shawn Michaels wannabe. <clears throat> and old HBK had to remind you that there's only one HBK, didn't he, Ziggler? Get your ass up. Another one of your failed personas. Twitchy leg. <clears throat> oh, shit, he moved. Nope. Saw you coming. Enough for a finisher. Let's go. That's the finisher I was going for, but I'll take it. States champion baby we is still JB three belts WWE champ US champ and 24-7 champ let's go see unblocking JV's again so he can see this you got lucky <clears throat> in one match but I'd rather be consistently good than occasionally great nine times out of ten I beat you so let's have another match to see if you can back up your claim. One that will prove who really is consistently good. What are you thinking? Quick before I block you again. Yeah, of course, because you're a little bitch like that. Uh, let's see. Two out of three falls. Iron Man match. <clears throat> um, uh. You versus me. Two out of three falls for my U.S. title. Sound good? Look forward to it. Blocked again. Bitch! Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 <coughs> pounds, Dolph <coughs> And introducing the champion from San Jose, California, weighing in at 267 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion. The Outlaw, Jason J.V. That's right. Let's go. One of the most prestigious 
titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking the United States Championship <clears throat> the United States Championship is on the line tonight in a matchup between the defending US champion and a past champion looking to regain his the punk ass up leave it to Dolph Ziggler to talk his way into a rematch he doesn't even deserve Dolph can uh -uh. give you like I said, get your punk ass the hell up. Ah, stupid push animation. Eat that knee. Alright, let's try this again. Because I'm getting this move in. There we go. Oh, and we busted him open. Can't see it though, cause it's covering up. He's covering it up with the bandana. Right in the mouse. Oh, there you go. Now you can see the blood trickling down his face. Got enough for a sig. And we're going for it. We feeling a little edgy today. <clears throat> Getting away from the ropes. Come on, ref. <clears throat> I'm gonna pin him one more time. Woo! Make sure I hit Y. Why do you Y game? Why do you Y? Apparently the Y button only function when, when it wants to. But I'm pretty sure I hit Y that time too. Oh, now you want to work. All right. Oh no, you little bitch. Get your punk ass back now. This time you tapping. And we is Dunskis. Here is your winner, and still the WWE United States Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J V. This was, <clears throat> and I think this will be a good uh, stopping point for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I have did. Y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to, uh, yeah. Please, especially subscribe if you're digging the vibes over here. If you're digging what I'm doing over here, that'd be greatly appreciated. Don't forget, of course, check out all the links in the video description down below, including the merch store merch store link. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Until the next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right. Peace.